Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I did my graduation picture makeup, but you could totally use it for graduation as well. Um, so the first thing I start by doing is priming my skin super well. These are the Faisali um, Rose Gold Elixir Drops, and then I use the Hourglass Number 28 Primer. Just because my skin is super dry, so these are very, very hydrating. Then I go in and I underline my brow, just to know what shape I would like to follow for my eyeshadow. And then I go in and carve it out with some concealer and prime my lid with the same concealer. It's the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which I really like to blink out all of the veins and stuff in my eyes. And then I set that with a translucent powder and I'm popping into the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This is like my all time favorite right now. And I'm starting off with this color right here and just kind of shaping out the crease. Not anything super intense, but I'm using a fluffy brush and making a nice shape to my eyes. Then I'm going in with the next shade, which I think is Rustic. I could be wrong. Um, and this is a Morphe M433. And I'm putting a little bit more definition into that outer corner. Now I'm taking Cypress Umber, which is a little, well, not a little bit. It's a lot darker of a brown. And I just put this in the outer corner and then blend out the edges with my big fluffy brush. Then for the lid, I'm going into a Natasha Denona palette and taking these really pretty like metallic shades putting the light kind of gold on the lid and then I'm taking that kind of amber color to blend it into the outer crease. And moving on to face, I mix the Givenchy Beauty Balm with the Danessa Myricks Cover Vision Cream, I think it's called. Um, I like mixing this in with foundations because it gives it a ton of coverage. I mean, that stuff is so full coverage, it's crazy. Um, and then the Givenchy is just beautiful. <laughs> Then I just put some lip balm on and I'm going in with concealer to highlight and brighten the center of my face. And then this freaking powder guys is amazing. It's the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. It is so pretty. It's not terribly expensive, especially considering it's hourglass, but it blurs everything. So I use it under my eyes and my forehead creases because I get those and kind of just around the face really lightly. Then I added some Sephora Radiant Drops, I think they're called Radiant Luminating Drops. But I like doing creams and liquids for photography, I think they look nice. And then I'm taking the Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter and putting that on the high points of my face as well. I went for like a really glowy look today. Then I am contouring with this Violet Voss brush and this Kat Von D contour powder. Ugh. Contour powder. It's just the lightest shade in the palette. And then on this fluffy brush, I took a little bit of that darkest shade in the contour kit, deepened things up, and then I am bronzing with the Anastasia Bronzer in Rosewood. Now I'm just taking a little bit of blush. This is my favorite routine. It's from the Hourglass palette, and I just use a very little bit of blush. I'm not a blush kind of gal, but use as much or little as you like. Then I like to take a stippling brush and just blend it all together really lightly. And then I am finishing off my brows. I Today I used the Anastasia Brow Definer. <clears throat> so I go in, I underline, I overline, I fill my brows, I carve them out with concealer, and then I use a brow gel to set them down and make them a little darker as well. Um, also in the front of my brows, which you just saw, is the e.l.f. Precision pencil, I think it is. It's just a really tiny pencil for the front of my brows to make more hair-like strokes. Then going back to the eyes, I took um, mostly Cypress Umber just on that lower lash line and blended it out. Just really nice and soft, nothing crazy, which is perfect for photography, something a little bit more natural. Then I took a um, Stila eyeliner, it's the new one with the little micro tip, and I just do a straight line across. And then I love this stuff, it's the iconic London Glow Mist or something like that. Just gives you a really nice glowy finish to your foundation. I popped on the Big D Lashes from Lily Lashes and Sephora Collection. Then I started by lining my lips with this L'Oreal pencil, but it ended up being like really mauve. And I didn't know if I liked that, but I put on top the Fenty Gloss. And that did help, but it still was a little bit darker than I was anticipating. So I went over it with the Dose of Colors Brulee. I think it's Brulee. Butterscotch. Butterscotch is what it is. Um, lipstick. And then I put some more gloss on. So then moving into hair, I used this way, I think it's called the texturizing volume spray? Volume spray, there we go. I put this at the roots, and then this curling iron is literally the only thing that holds curls in my hair. It's super, super good. It's the Sephora Collection and Aria, I think it is, curling iron. It has that infrared heating, and for whatever reason that holds my curls, my hair is super fine, nothing holds the curls, but this does. 
Um, so when I curl my hair, I curl it away from my face and I leave on the bottom layer especially a little bit of hair out at the ends and curl it up and then just, you know, hold it there until I feel like it's curled. So like if you watch right here, I leave like mm, maybe an inch or two of hair out so that I still get the length of my hair by having those straight ends, but my hair is curled, if that makes sense. So I do that all the way around, always curling away from my face because that's what I do. Some people do it both ways, but I just like going away from my face. So then, like I said, my hair is really hard. It doesn't hold a curl or anything. So I try to do every little trick I can. So what I do is I take my curls once they've set for a second and I kind of tease them just with my fingers. Supposedly this helps them stay. I don't really know, but I do what I can, girl. So I usually do my hair in either three or four sections. So I did my first layer, like the lowest bottom layer, and then I section a little higher up, a little higher up, a little higher up, and do it like that. Same process throughout though. Spray it with that volume spray, curl away from the face. Yep, yep, you know the drum. So these hairs to me are super important in my bangs more. I really try to make them pretty, so I'm careful with these ones because if I mess up my ones in the front, you know that hair is going up. Like I'm going to do some half up kind of concoction if it don't look good. And voila. So anyways, I do the same thing all around my head, but those are the kind of main tips I have. And this curling iron is freaking bomb. As a matter of fact, my mom kept stealing mine, so I had to buy her own. <laughs> so then the last step I do, I think this is called the dry texturizing spray from dry bar this stuff is so good it it kind of acts as a hairspray but it also gives you texture and volume so i will see you guys in my next video bye guys